Hello, and welcome to another cast by me, Fish, your host, your best friend, the guy next door. The guy next door you don't really like. But it's me. Here we go. <laughs> and today we have a TVT, a Bronze League match by Sir Chax in the Red Flare. Uh, I guess he decided four of these guys were... Oh, there we go. Come on, guys. Getting a bit lazy there. All right. <laughs> At the bottom side, we have Sir Chax as bronze. Yay! Clap your hands. Clap your hands. And in the top, we have the blue Terran player. His name is Perseus. Yay! Clap the hands. Clap the hands. All right. <laughs> and it looks like Perseus is going to start off with a little wall off, as uh, every Terran should do. Sir Chax on the way as well. And as I understand, Sir Chax is also a caster on here. What's up, brah? What's up? Brah. See, I'm going to name this guy Sir Chax, so we're going to like keep an eye on him throughout most of the game. So this is going to be you. Keep him alive, bro. Alright, chasing out the pesky little... That was a really early scout by him. It's not very often that um, uh, players usually scout within one to two minutes, because not a lot you can actually scout out there. What you're really going to see is... I guess what you're really trying to scout is the cheese, but you don't really look over here for a cheese. You usually look over here for a proxy, uh, anything. Or over here even, if you can uh, skirt by your base this direction. I've done that before. Crazy fun. Anywho. We didn't lose Sir Jack, did we? Hey, Sir Jack. There you are. And looks like he's gonna complete his wall off, as any good Terran does. Oop. Let's get that production tab going. Starts with his first Marine. We'll call him Sir Jack's Jr. Not a lot going on so far. I mean, this is a Bronze League match. Uh, there's, you can't expect anything. You can't call anything. You can't be all like, oh, I know he's gonna, he's gonna do one, 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 or any of other things. I can't really think of for build orders. <laughs> but what you can say, it's gonna be a very entertaining match. It looks like Sir Jack can't get in, so he's gonna be annoying as hell and try to poke at this building. But it looks like he's gonna just kind of chill. What I can see right now, he's got his reactor, so I'm assuming he's gonna go Marines or lots of Reapers. He's got four guys on one geyser, you should probably look out for that. One of them is getting lazy, man. And in the bottom side, we have Sir Chax, uh, just kind of building up his economy. He's to work on his SCV production a little bit more. He's only got eight people on the mineral line, but he is scouting out with his Marines. Probably just to keep the vision right here. Not the best idea in the beginning of the game, since you're not really going to get a lot of vision, because most of the time, they go straight down. All the way down. There's a good chance you're not even going to see anything coming towards you. The only thing you're going to see is a medevac, and at this timing, you're probably not going to see it, so... Actually, that's a really bad spot for any kind of vision in general. Maybe in a later game, but, you know. It looks like he's going to queue his units up to here. But right now, he's got four marines heading towards there, two more coming out. I think, or is that the other player? Oh, that's the other player. He's got a bunker right here. Two bunkers, staying super defensive here. I remember those days. You stay super defensive. You never have to worry about that. See, what he needs now is siege tanks. From over here. His little corners here. Or a little bit off, so they can't actually reach him. Impenetrable. Anywho. It looks like both... Players are neglecting to expand. Oh, wait. Scratch that. It looks like Sir Chax has decided to expand. I don't know why he didn't decide to just uh, pull up it down right over here where it belongs, but, you know, maybe he wants to fly to the gold. You know, it's a cool idea. If so, I support you, bro. 
I support you. And looks like Perseus might be wanting to expand. He still hasn't had the minerals. Why expand when you can build a supply depot there? Am I right? Hmm? Hmm? Crap, I lost Sir Jax. I just remembered it. No! I'm going to name one of you Sir Jax when the time comes, okay? Alright. It looks like uh, Sir Jax is going to poke around a little bit with his five marines. No, I'm going to name you Sir Jax Jr. right now. This is you. Don't disappoint me. You get 12 kills with this one guy. I can see it right now. Uh, as you can see, he's going to see that there's no third expansion. That's pretty much all he's going to see here. Oh, he does have a siege tank here. Totally missed that in the entire beginning here. Two siege tanks getting that constant siege tank production right here. Also, upgrading stim. A very good idea. Always helps, but you definitely need a medevac to actually get a lot of effectiveness out of it. Effectiveness. Therefore, if you overstim them, you're kind of screwed there. And it's not quite close enough. And it doesn't look like Perseus has any tanks out at the moment, but he is getting one out. Once he gets that to pop out, this whole push could go downhill very fast. Because two bunkers and a siege tank, that's going to be hard to break through. It looks like his sea tank and marine production is still coming out. He's doing. They're both players are actually doing pretty well when it comes to their economy, at least keeping it down. But that's probably why the reason why is because they have only like 19 and 17 SCVs each. They really need to get that second base going. It's 10 minutes through the game. Not a lot. Well, production is pretty decent. I mean. I just want to stick over here just in case. And yeah, it's going to be tough for break. I don't, I don't know if Sir Jax can do it. It would be the best bet to actually get Medivax going. Of course, he's going to find this the hard way. Actually, what's his vision here? He sees the two bunkers. But he has no idea about the siege production. A nice scan here would actually save him some units. He's got three siege tanks. Coming through. And now he just started his plus one attack. Always a good thing to do. But he's got to figure Research. out what's going to go on sooner or later before he actually loses a bunch of units over here. It is going to be a really nice defense That's right here. Ready. And... Spacing out. Oh, there we go. Could get my zoom in, I'm sorry. And at the moment is pretty much a stalemate. Both players are actually saying, uh, well, the blue player is saying super uber defensive. And it looks like Sir Jax is electing to go with a kind of keep them in their base kind of vibe. Which let me tell you, never really works. What you want to do is stay aggressive, and right now, neither player is going to be aggressive at all. A drop would be pretty good for each player, but I don't see any support from either player. Even though Sir Chax is definitely prepared for it. His production going. He's got three barracks, two reactors heading on. He's getting that armory going, probably to get more, uh, looking to get more damage out of his tanks. And yes, thank you, Sir Chax. Go for the gold. You got him trapped in his base for now. He doesn't quite know, but there's nothing to stop you getting that gold. Get that economy, get as much production as you can, get it must units so we actually bust through here. Or actually get a Doom Drop right over here or inside here. Do a lot of damage. Well, maybe not right here. <laughs> it's maybe around here behind his mineral line. You know. You know. Yeah. Oh. And he... So Chax finally scans inside the base just to see what is going on. And he sees 
a very impenetrable fortress right over here. All he needs, all Percy's really needs is a, um, what is that building called? What is that thing? Planetary Fortress. If you place this building with a Planetary Fortress, nothing's getting by, man. Absolutely nothing. So, looks like he's getting two bunkers right outside of his base. And a window mine. And a turret. And five tanks. <laughs> you know, have we even really... Two units have been killed this entire game, and it's 15 minutes in. <laughs> oh, Sir Jax, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> See, I guess if we're gonna be in a stalemate with Terran, you know, just in case this fails, I might as well just take all of his minerals. Fuck it. <laughs> and it seems that Sir Chax is just slowly just building up his production. Marines, some tanks. Building two more starports back at home, which is a very good idea, I think. Hopefully it is Medivax, because Medivax would be a very good idea here. Do those drops like I was talking about earlier. Wow. Perseus on the other side has decided to build five more barracks. He figured, hell, I've got enough minerals, I might as well do something fucking with it. Let's see, Perseus' army is actually going towards Marauder build, which is not a bad play, but if he does overma overmake them, it's not the best idea. I mean, they can tank a lot of damage, but the DPS on him is absolutely terrible, especially when there's no medevacs healing them at the same time. So he's got to watch out not to overproduce on them. And it looks like he is building a bunch of reactors. Okay, so he's going to build a whole bunch uh, on Marines. <laughs> and, uh, good spot as any for that, I guess. A couple Vikings over here just to stop a, uh, perhaps a troop drop. But what he should be doing is really scouting with them. Perhaps uh, putting them on the flank over here. Well, on the side right here, so he needs to get enough vision just in case something's coming along so he knows what's going on. And also, uh, patrol one on the side here, so he can get at least an early warning system on that. So, it looks like Sir Chax is being a cheeky bastard. I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. He has gotten a pretty good economy going. But the question is, I mean, this is only Brosnick. I mean, no one's perfect or anything. Like, if you watch my games, you'd be just, like, completely annoyed by the way I play. Like, I build up to have about 3,000 minerals, and I use them all at once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could be fun. <laughs> and he is... Perseus is getting those medevacs out, but he's not doing anything with them. He doesn't have him uh, rallied over here. Which could be bad news whenever he does attack, if Sir Chax does attack from here. <laughs> 20 minutes, and we've lost two units. One of them was a worker. And there was a Marine. Bobby died. Let's see. Where's the other guy? I think I just scanned him over here. Does, does he know? what? He has no idea. Perseus has no idea what's outside Research his base right now. Complete. Absolutely no idea. He, all he sees is there's gold base over here. He's got a natural. He's got a main base and probably some buildings over here. He could probably assume. So he decides to go for a doom drop. He's like, eh. <laughs> I'm gonna do something with it. And unfortunately, yeah, it looks like he's going to drop right here and take care of his gold base. Alright. Ah. This could be a pretty big, pretty big loss for Sir Chax, especially if he has no units back here to defend. Absolutely not. What Sir Chax really needs to do is lift this building and run away. Run away, Sir Chax. Lift the building, bro. 
So much damage being done right here. Not a lot of CVs last. I think there's only four over here, but he does lose his gold mining base, which is a pretty big loss here. And also, what's is a bigger loss is here is that he's just going to put his units back up here. Unfortunately, he's losing two medivacs in the process. And just float over here, because he knows that thing's right here. And just attack his natural, just go around and basically destroy all of his production. But it looks like Perseus is just... To scout around a little bit, just missing the two Vikings at Banshee over here. So Chax really needs to get something doing going here. I know he is finally taking out this bunker, slowly doing a little bit of damage to his front wall right here, but that's just not gonna be enough. Especially if this force can just go ahead and just waltz right in, but Looks like he's not going to do that. Well, I, well, he has no idea what's over here. He needs to be able to scan over here to see what's going on. So he's going to be very surprised when all of his medivacs are completely annihilated. Oh my god. Oh, do you see those little... Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Base Didn't know before he knows now. See, he needs to, Perseus needs to realize that he needs, he needs to, needs to, he really needs to, needs to, needs to, because he needs to, absolutely needs to, move down with his forces. He's got nothing right here. He doesn't know that, but he needs to do something. He needs to be, stop being so defensive. While I was following him and judging everyone harshly, he, uh, Sir Jax did destroy the entire wall here, which is a pretty big deal here. It looks like he's just going to just inch up little by little until he finally gets what he wants. But he needs to be careful because these tanks, if they're in range, they will destroy these tanks first. So whoever gets the first shot wins that battle. And... Oh my god, that could not get any closer. <laughs> but it looks like on the bottom side, Perseus has begun to attack his wall. His wall is gone. His production is basically gone. Sir Chax ran out of space here and just forgot to build any more supply depots. And so he stopped making units. He completely stopped making units. He has a bank of 6,000 minerals. And it looks like just with a small contingent of units, he's going to destroy everything. Absolutely everything that Perseus has. Well, on the upside, we do have... Oh, I totally missed it. We missed Sir Jack destroying all of, like, half of his force right here. Tanks, Marines. Gone. He does have a little bit of units right here, and if Sir Chax isn't careful, he's going to destroy what he has here. Of course, if Dorsey isn't even careful, he's going to just lose absolutely everything. Let's see, the... <laughs> oh, I think this turned into a base race. And it looks like he's going to expand to the gold bases over here. Oh, I love a good base race, but it looks like this is a very slow and steady move for Sir Chax. He doesn't want to overcommit. In all, in all reality, he can't overcommit. If he overcommits, he loses everything. He loses his base race. He stopped making units when he should actually be making some Vikings over here because they can attack around, come down, or present some banshees, but I don't think he has any cloak, so not as helpful. No way he has it. Holding here, but he really needs to clean this up as fast as possible. Oh, it looks like he's coming in for tax. Oh my god! Body parts flying everywhere! Oh my god, it's a fucking massacre! Uh, <laughs> does manage to take out one tank, does a lot of damage to the second tank right here, but does not manage to take that one out as well. And so, actually, I think it took out two or three tanks. He's got three tanks remaining. And it looks like Perseus does not have any more units uh, remaining except for what he has in production here, which is pretty much five at a time. Um, oh, nope. Okay, cancel all of them. He's going to save his money, float his barracks, go, possibly go to one of his gold bases, or just float the fuck out. Go for it, bro. <laughs> Because the game's not over, man. It's not over. He still has two gold bases here. Of course, not mining. 
<laughs> so Jax does realize shit. He's already taken it. And Perseus has continued the assault on the main base. Building one last banshee. Hopefully, uh, will it come out? I don't believe it'll come out. And uh, oh, I believe he is going to attack the SCVs right here. And well, he has a bunch of there's too many SCVs inside of here. He needs to drop them and attack it. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I was like, don't forget the workers. Don't forget the workers. All right. And Sir Jax really needs to keep it up. He's losing this base race right now. He needs to start destroying everything he has. Well, Sir Jax has lost all of his mining. Well, just about all of his mining. All he really has left is this base up here. Actually, I totally forgot about this base, which is a really nice. A nice spot for Sachax to sit, because I don't think he knows this base, base is even here. Is under attack. No idea at all. Which could bite him in the ass sooner rather than later. So he still does have an economy. He can still build some units, but he has three barracks. So he's just going to pump out Marines. Whatever he can do to keep that going. And it looks like we're going to go back into the early game, folks. Build that planning fortress, get rid of that. <laughs> slowly but surely getting rid of Sir Jack's base right here. His orbital command is slowly burning. Well, not quite yet. Give it a second. Give it a tick. And it's on fire. It is gone, it is screwed. There is no repairing it now. Perseus is really taking control of this game right now. Even though it looks like he lost his main base and everything, he still has a lot of supply depots here for a short time. Sir Jax does not have a lot of units. He's not committing it to all the way down here, which he really needs to. He really needs to commit all of his units to destroy his buildings as fast as possible. Being too conservative on a base trade could really bite you in the ass, because what? Perseus is doing right now is building back his force right here. He still has one mining base plus a gold base plus another gold base Which he's not mining out of but sooner or later he's gonna mine out of it While he's getting his production going with his Marines, he's making another barracks Making two more barracks. So he's gonna have six barracks all together. Well, you only have three Even though you have reactors, it's not gonna be enough. I know both players have a shit ton of bank which is good for each player. Uh, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Damn. Just moved just in time. There he goes. Now Sir Chex is finally committing. Well, Perseus is finally committed to destroying this last building of him and his entire base here. And Sir Jax is destroying everything he has. Losing all of these supply depots is really going to hurt Perseus. His supply is going to dip dramatically very quickly. It doesn't look like Perseus is recognizing this. He's probably not going to recognize it until his supply is probably going to drop. Yep, here it goes. Down to probably like 12. Or 33. And because of all his SCVs and units, actually not that many units, just these units over here. Oh shoot, they're on his move command. Pay attention, man. Perseus, no. They're on move command. Pay attention, bro. <laughs> and Perseus does not give a fuck. And looks like he forgot about this guy over at the gold base as well, but it looks like he... Where? Oh, there he goes. If he's assuming this is all he has, he knows Mineral field depleted. this one right here because he tried to build a base right here. Add on, he complete. knows that he's making another Add one with on, the gold base. Complete. He knows there's some weird bunkers over here, but no idea what's really over here. He's been out at this base for a very Mineral long field time. Depleted. But this could be a very rude wake-up call very quickly. While well, Sir Jax, on the other hand, knows what he has. 
Nose is basically his only base. Well, not his only base anymore. But he knows he has his gold base over here. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm gonna build supply depots everywhere. Escape, man. I don't even know what's going on in this game. All I know is both players in for a rude wicko call. <laughs> oh! Oh, not bad. What am I doing really much? But the tank is doing a lot of damage here, taking out all of his units, and his last unit is gone. All this river of blood, this little pool of blood. All of them are dead. All their families are going to be crying. All the letters sent home will be like, they died in vain. They died in vain. Anywho. What he does know now is yeah, information. He does know Planetary Fortress. Knows, so. This is where he's keeping his main base at now. Oh. <laughs> so it looks like both players are electing to defend right now until they build... A big enough for <laughs> This is a crazy match. <laughs> I would have to agree, Chax. I would really have to agree. Oh, no. The only problem with having a planetary fortress right here is your mining. The gold minerals run out so much quicker than the normal minerals. I know you receive the minerals so much quicker, but. On the downside, you lose those minerals so much quicker. So when that's gone, you just have an empty planetary fortress in the middle of nowhere. And it looks like Sir Chax has decided to move all of his marines there, see what kind of damage he can do. Whoops. Get back out. Uh, does he have... He has no siege tanks. So it's just going to be a marine-on-marine -marine battle here. And it looks like Perseus has the upper hand here. And just annihilates the wall that <laughs> won pretty handedly there as well. Is there a uh, difference in upgrades here? Sir Chax has the upgrade advantage with the plus two attack. Yeah, not, yeah I think it's just the high ground really, really won it for him a lot better than I thought he would. And it looks like the game is going to stay weird. Guys, it's going to stay weird. <laughs> He's, he has decided, Perseus has decided just to switch sides because, you know, one side can get a little bit boring. <laughs> and decides just to fuck it, build a bunch of supply depots, and it's natural. Which might be problematic when these are in the way when he wants to mine from here. Just. <laughs> We are about 40 minutes into the game. There's been a base in just about every single spot, except for maybe these three spots. And Percy has decided to go for a counterattack on his gold base, which is a planetary fortress. So this planetary fortress could do a lot of work, especially when these uh, marines are stimmed. But the DPS is too much and takes down the building in mere seconds. And bam. But stimming all your marines like that has a big disadvantage for him now. He's got no medevacs except for the one, two, three, four over here. He's got four medevacs he's neglecting to use on all of these poor, poor injured marines here. Look at how many of them. They have like just a few health here. Just a few health. This You need medevacs to stay with your marines. Come on, Perseus. Come on, bro! Looks like he's completely mined out of here, except for the gas, but... What are you putting on your, uh... Oh, 11 Marines at a time. There you go! Uses money wisely. While Sir Chax, on the other hand, let's see what he's trying to do. He's just building another planetary fortress over here. Building some more SCVs. Oh, just in time over here. Looks like they sent a small group of units to destroy what he can over here, but it looks like they're so clumped together, the area effect is doing a lot of damage to Perseus' forces. 
and no way does he have the DPS to destroy this base. And bam! He goes flying. And it looks like he's decided to actually send all of his forces to destroy this base over here. Not a bad idea. There's not a lot of uh, SCVs to actually repair this. He doesn't even want to right now. That wouldn't do a... It, it wouldn't help much. you got two workers to repair it. So Bridges has, has decided to finally heal all these units. Those poor Marines are not happy little Marines. And comes with a whole bunch of Marines on the right side here. That's going to be... Way more than needs to uh, take care of this, which is a good thing, because this is going to do a lot of damage. He's taken a lot of hits from it, but finally takes out one of his last bases here. He's got two bases left over here, so Jax has decided to take his natural. I'm not sure why. Does he know that's over here? Mr. Jax doesn't know this is over here. No idea. I have to say, Perseus's vision is pretty good right now. He's got a little bit of everybody just about in each spot here. So he knows when he's going to expand, while Sir Chax, on the other hand, is stuck. Stuck where he... <laughs> originally to be a cheeky bastard over here. This is pretty much his last base. There's not much, uh, not too many minerals left over here. If he decides to build more SCVs, which he really needs to, he's got like seven, eight SCVs altogether. Maybe 15. Wait, let's find out. 20 SCVs altogether compared to the 44 that Perseus has. Really needs to get his economy back on track. He did have, excuse me, over like 6,000 minerals. Now he's back down to 100. His production is going to make a big dip since he doesn't have that money anymore. So what that really means is that if they attack and both players lose all their forces, which is a good chance, Perseus is going to be able to build up that force really quickly since right now he's got about 3,500 minerals right now compared to the 100 minerals that Sir Chax has. That means Sir Chax is going to make about four marines compared to the 100 that Perseus is going to make right here. Ooh, that's a lot of tanks there though. But they're not in the best position. What he needs to do is put his tanks pretty much on the inside circle right here. This wall is a pretty good wall to keep out the uh, Terran player right here because he needs to get through here. You know, they're going to be stuck in this tight little choke here in order to actually attack the tanks. And that could do a lot of damage to what Perseus has. And it looks like he's going to just run in. He's going to freaking run in. Oh my god, the choke is insane for Sir Chax though. Perseus is losing a lot of units for almost absolutely nothing. Oh my god, it's a complete bloodbath. The complete opposite reaction that Perseus really expected. While well, Sir Jax take care of, takes care of just about his entire army. Brings it back down to 82 supply here. And finally figures out there's a base over here not being used. I might as well take it. There goes the hairdresser. That day 9 absolutely loves. Hairdresser. Anyway, it looks like it is time to do some damage. So Chax is exploring with his units, or at least has put him on the attack command for each base. So he's going to take out the gold base over here. He can come out over here, not going to really see anything else. Never mind. Takes out two bases. This is looking pretty good for Sir Chax, but unfortunately, the economy is in Perseus's favor. Fa uh, favor? Favor. That's a word. Favor. You know if you say a word too many times, it doesn't sound like a word. Or if you feel really dumb at the moment, a word doesn't sound like a word. That's kind of like how I feel right about now. Favor does not sound like a real word. Yes, I did spend about 30 seconds talking about the word favor not existing, but really does. Alright, Sir Chax has finally taken all of his tanks and all of his marines, just about all of his force, to do one final death blow, since his economy is in the tanks is tanking. He's in the dumps. He's not doing very well. An inefficient economy. <laughs> this is pretty much Sir Chax's last 
Hoorah. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're so close to each other. Oh, he's gonna come in before the sea tanks are actually set. But he finally gets set and he's in such a choke point. He's trying to do the move command, take out the tanks. He loses everything he has. And actually, Sir Chax takes very minimal damage. He loses three tanks. One's a lower health, but Sir Chax now doesn't have the... I mean, he has a production, but it's not quite out yet to actually defeat what he has right here. Especially if these tanks are sieged. And he loses another base. So Sir Chax is actually doing pretty well for what he has. What Perseus really needs to watch out for is to not go on the move command. To actually attack with his force. To press A and right left click. <laughs> Going for the sea sinks is a good move, but when there's a force in front of it preventing all of your units to get there, you're going to lose a lot of your force, if not all. And he's going to take out, he's trying to get his main back. So it looks like Perseus is going for the reverse base trade again, and we're going to see how much damage he does. It looks like he does have a bit of a force right here, especially with that planetary fortress. That could do a lot of damage if Perseus is not careful. Which it looks like Perseus does not give one single fuck. So he's going to go in and see what the fuck he can do. And Sir Chax is on the bottom here. It looks like uh, Marine has found out there is a supply depot down here. And a bunch more. While Perseus has gone into it, there's still two, three sea tanks over here. Doing some damage to Perseus's forces right here. While on the bottom side... Sir Chax has gone into the attack mode over here in uh, Perseus's temporary main base. Uh, he does not have the vision control anymore since um, advantage, so he's going to lose a lot. Sir Chax is going to lose a lot of his marines on this right here, not really doing a lot of damage here except for a bit to his marines. And it looks like Perseus is on the standstill, but this uh, <laughs> Widowmind is in a fantastic place and I don't think Perseus has any idea that there is a widow mine right here ready to just fuck up his life here uh, could do a lot of damage if he sticks right here let's see if he gets the money shot out of it he's losing a couple of light evos right here and the widow mine is uh, bam it gets a couple more kills not bad but not the most ideal he is taking about a bunch of his production which is a terrible thing for Sir Jax to lose but this Planetary Fortress can do a lot of damage. He really needs to heal that. He really needs to repair that as quickly as possible. He's going to lose it. Oh my god. He completely loses it. While his mining is confined to this one, one mineral patch right here. Well, this one as well. But his force can easily take out what he has over here. Just taking out all of these poor SCVs. These poor little bastards. Just trying to do their job. <laughs> Join the resistance, become a worker! Fuck no, bro. Anywho, Perseus is just going to look around a little bit more. He really needs to take out this base. He knows it's right over here, doesn't he? Yeah, it's right here. Where are you going? Don't do it, man. Take out this base. Just take it out. Just do it for me. Do it for me! Okay, thanks. Thanks, Perseus. Appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, and it looks like Sir Chax is actually confined to Perseus's original location right now. And it doesn't look like he has any more mining bases on the map now. He wasted a bunch of mules here. That is a lot <laughs> gone there. Not a lot of minerals he could have had. He really needs to float this. And, well, he's got that base. He really needs to do a little bit more mining, maybe go to one of these bases while he's not looking. Possibly this one, since everyone's pretty much been ignoring this base. Until now, <laughs> apparently. He's listening to me, man. Alright, we're 55 minutes into this double base trade situation. Do what you gotta do. Let's hopefully he doesn't notice. And this is a tough call. I'm not sure who is really in the lead here. Um, I would have to give it to Perseus because he has a much better economy. A better economy usually wins. I'd say about 95% of the time. 
And it looks like Sir Chax is going to stay defensible. In a very good defensible position right here. He's got five sea tanks right here waiting to just crush anything that comes towards him. While his little <laughs> makeshift base over here has been spotted and is going to explode. Come on, fireworks everywhere. I just look greater. And the ground is alive. The ground repairs itself. It has now been repaired and completely flat. Congratulations, ground. You're the MVP. <laughs> does does Perseus have any more benefits? He's got Marines. Actually, I like this play by Perseus. He's keeping an eye on, on all the bases. So he's going to try and starve off starve out Sir Chax, which he has successfully done. He cannot mind anywhere on the map without Perseus actually knowing. Unless he can, like, uh, maybe sneak, like, a base over here or something and do long-distance mining. Uh, probably be the only way to go without actually being spotted here. So, what is the main... Plan. Let's see, we've almost reached the one hour mark in this crazy <laughs> Bronze League TVT where so far we've seen massacres. Base trades. Two! Two base trades. How many base trades can one have in a game? Apparently, you can have more than one. It doesn't end there. Uh, so what Perseus has, he has this game on lock. He can do whatever he wants. He can make everything. He can make all the nukes. He can make battle cruisers. He can make anything. He has the, well, he did have the economy, but he can have the economy. He controls all of the money. Oh my god, I can't believe I just missed this. He decides to see if he can poke up here, but gets a massacred. He gets a massacred. Up here, because of all the sea tanks right here and all the marines on the hold command with that wooden mine right here, you cannot get up this little choke here. You cannot get up this ramp. You just can't do it. Perseus, I love you, but you can't go up that ramp. You really need to do a drop. I know he has vision, but he can't move these sea tanks fast enough. You could move around. I mean, you have space over here where he can't see you. And just go around and just do, like, a crazy doom drop right over here. And it looks like Sir Chax, he has to be careful. This is all he has. He's got no mining bases at all. He's got nothing. Unless he uh, floats his last base over here or here or here. But that could be a huge risk because he could absolutely just lose this game right now. I'm not saying he's out of it. I mean, it's a Bronze League game. Anything could happen. Absolutely anything could happen. Like, as we've seen before, with his small force right here, all he had was siege tanks and destroyed all of Persis' armies actually about three or four times now. He doesn't really... He kind of gets stuck on the move command. He thinks he can just stim up here and just go and bum rush and take out these tanks. They can't because of all these marines still here. I mean, they stim as well, and they can just take it out. As I'm saying this, this is going to be a huge battle here. This could be the last battle for Sir Jax, but it looks like he's back on the move command trying to take out all of those tanks. He takes out three... Two more tanks right here, but loses all of his forces, dropping down to 60 supply, but he does have... 27 marines against the 50 marines that Sir Jax has. The thing with that is, though, Perseus, bam, it's just remax right away because of his economy compared to what Sir Jax has. He had 12 minerals, but now he finally gets his <laughs> economy going just with his last few little patches right here. That's probably like 1,000, 1,200 minerals left over. Let's see. He's going to try and possibly make what is he making right there he's making another reactor uh he's got one barracks that's it i really thought he had a couple more but he's got one lone thor you lazy bastard thor 
Mm, you lazy. <laughs> I'm not saying he could do a lot of damage to these Marine Force, because Marines are like a direct counter to Thors. That DPS will just, just shred this Thor to pieces, especially when there's not... Uh, I think he's got like plus one attack on the... Uh, on the uh, mech here. And looks like he's gonna go on over and float over here. But unbeknownst to him, there is a lone marauder here. So he's going to spot that he did move his base over here at the one hour and three and a half minute mark. You know, when I first like picked this replay here, I expected it to be a 15 minute game, 20 minute game. Instead, we got this really weird hour and a half game going on <laughs> of this really weird base trade scenario it's a it's a double base trade that hasn't ended i think we're gonna mine out every single thing on this map <laughs> and it looks like Percy's is gonna come in and see if he can just take out this base but un Oh my god, it's a complete massacre for Perseus. All of his forces are completely annihilated by these siege tanks. Watching this game, you can see the effectiveness that siege tanks give you. All, all you need is a couple siege tanks, and they can do a massive amount of damage to marines. Anything that's a bio force, they do a massive amount of damage. So Perseus has to know this. He has to realize that going straight marines, going straight into this army, isn't going to win them the game. He needs to take out everything that he has, all of his production, and just kind of leave his economy. He has to know that this is his only mining base. He has all of his other mining bases on lockdown. He knows if he's mining anywhere. So what you should do is build some medevacs, bro. Build a medevac. Lift your stuff. Oh, there's Thor, you lazy bastard. Did he F to it? Oh, is he stuck? <laughs> now he's kind of forced into being lazy. He can't... You fat bastard, he can't fit through this. <laughs> he can't sidestep it over here, he can't sidestep it over there. And it, <laughs> let's go back into production here. It looks like Sir Chax, with what little money he had, he's going for his plus three armor, which is going to be huge against the Marines. Where I think he's still stuck on 1-1. Uh, one, one. He's still on 1-1. One, one. Wow, I got to give Sir Chax prop. Even though with as little money as he has, he's kept up with his upgrades. I mean, it's only taken about hour and ten minutes to actually get there, but, you know, good on him for remembering. I mean, not everybody can remember after all of this. That's a lot of shit happening. Let's see, he's got Stim. Oh, and it looks like Sir Chags is going on the offensive, taking out another of Perseus' base over here. And the hairdryer goes flying. Because snail. Anywho. Chax has stayed in this game. I gotta give him props. <laughs> I thought he was down and out at least three or four times in this game. His economy was gone. He was on the defensive. There's nothing he could really do. Perseus had this game on lock, and he kind of let Sir Chax get back into the situation. Back to where Sir Chax has a chance. He has a full mining base right here, which is going to give him a lot of minerals. But, unfortunately... <laughs> It's kind of going to be slow going since there's only going to be six, actually eight workers on this mineral patch over here. Thirteen now. <laughs> Basically doubled it right there. Uh, oh, it looks like, oh, he got the Thor out. How did he get, oh, he must have lifted his building. Just kind of waddled over there. And it looks like Sir Chax is going on the offensive again, trying to take that gold base, which is actually all gone now. But he's got to be careful because this planetary fortress is here. He can do a lot of damage, but he's just out of range. His tanks are going to take out 
just about everything. I would not be doing this. I know you're trying to take out this base as quickly as possible, but did you, you did lose a few mini, uh, Marines right here. Of course, you have your economy gap, and I guess it's not the biggest deal, but... But throughout this game, every Marine is priceless, bro. They've got families. Anywho, he's going back down to this base, staying offensive and trying to take out what Perseus has on this base as well. It's, and he's got to be careful. This could be a really good spot, especially if his Marines are over here. They're unseached. Perseus is coming in. He's destroying all of his tanks. Oh my god, this is huge. He's just, All of his tanks are gone. He's going to lose absolutely every... Oh, he got him on the move command. But he did take out those tech, uh, tanks there, which is absolutely huge victory for Perseus. Those were the units that were absolutely giving him the most trouble. I know that Sir Chax is actually making those siege tanks back, which is a really good idea. Um, he's making two... Oh, there it is. Two at a time here. And, yeah, they're not quite done yet, so... Looks like he's gonna stick with the bio. I just realized this is probably his last true mining base. This is Perseus' last true mining base. And it looks like he's on the move command. He's gonna lose absolutely his entire force over here. Oh, no. oh this could be really bad for Percy. It looks like Sir Chax is really back in this game. He's gonna take out his last mining base while Percy is stuck at like. 100 minerals now. He's gonna. Oh my god. Did Sir Chax come back and win this game? I think he did it. I think he has done it. I mean, he can make a. Well, he can't make a base. Okay, he needs to float this base. He needs this base to survive. Along with this one. So he needs these two bases to survive. He needs to float this one down to the bottom right because this is gonna be his last place he can mine from safely. His goals ran out, like I was saying before, they ran out quickly. I mean, they were good for a little bit of time. You had 5,500 minerals in the bank. But now it looks like Sir Chax is back in this. And has the upper hand. He can win this. The supply difference is insanely in favor for Sir Chax. In favor, as I did learn half an hour ago, that it is a word. So Perseus, this is his last army. This is all he has left. <laughs> oh my god. What does he have here? What does he see? He has lost all of his vision. All he knows is there's two little things Additional up here. Additional supply depot is required. And, oh, he finally figures out there's a base right here with a couple tanks right here. So he can't directly attack. He can't directly attack. He'll just lose the game outright. So he is just scanning to see what is going on. Uh, finds out there's really nothing left over here except an entire thing of unprotected production over here. Which could be a huge win for Perseus. Absolutely huge win. He needs to take out this factor right here because the tank is just about to pop out. And he's stuck on the queue. He needs to take out the tank. Take out the tank. Take out the ah, There we go. So it's a pretty big win in itself. He's going to take out all of this production. Unless Sir Chax does something to stop it. But instead, he's going for the offensive. He's going to go right for the throat. He's going to take out everything of Perseus's base that could possibly make anything. So we're going for the third base trade. The third base trade in this bronze TVT matchup. Just let it sink in. Let it sink in. <laughs> oh my god. And it looks like Sir Chak on the left side is finally going to take out basically Perseus' last mining base. So Perseus needs to do all of the damage right here. Take out absolutely everything along with this base while it's still unprotected. Of course, he really doesn't know, but he knows that Sir Chax sent his entire army at his other gold base here, 
and he, after that he's probably gonna just run up here. So you're gonna have some time to stall and kill all of his stuff because he still has a bunch of supply depots right over here. So Perseus needs to take out everything that's right here and then go straight for his last mining base. I mean, that's what basically I would do. He <laughs> just floats over here and finds out there is absolutely nothing to mine from. And I have to say, Sir Chax has won this. He's come back. He finally has his mining base. He's got a planetary fortress that this force cannot hope to kill unless he does some awesome splits where it's only attacking like one marine at a time. But that's not going to be enough. His, he's got 300 minerals. He can't build another base. And Sir Chax has split up his forces just to destroy everything else he has. Sir Chax has got this. He's won this. He's, he's at 129 supply now. And he can't make any more unless he builds a shit ton of supply depots. But his force is far superior than Perseus's. Because <laughs> not only does he have like nothing. He's got three SCVs left. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, he's going in for the kill. Come on, SCVs. Get a couple kills. Get a couple kills. Bam! Pops his head off. Got four SCVs. Look at that. And it looks like Perseus is going to attack this base right here. Sir Chax is going to explore a little bit just to make sure there's no sneaky ass bases kind of flying around. Because this is Perseus' last base, and Sir Chax, I think, doesn't really quite know it. All he knows is there is a flying uh, command center right here going over his uh, sensor tower. That's the fuck that's called. So he's going to try and stick it right here, get some more uh, mining from it, but it looks like all of his force is going to be annihilated, absolutely massacred. And he throws at the GG. He knows it's over. He's got nothing left except for this final base. God game, man. God game. Most peculiar match ever. LOL. And his final base has been destroyed, and it's gone. <laughs> I don't think Sir Jackson really believe it. He hasn't quite left the game. He's just kind of sitting there like, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh my god. And he finally leaves the game. Congratulations, Shurchak. Oh my god, this has got to be one of the, I think the longest game I've actually casted. Oh my god, I need a nap after this? Jesus Christ! Well, GG everyone. And thanks for uh, posting your cast on to uh, our cast it. I'm starting to go brain dead. I'm a little tired now. <laughs> huh. Oh, let's try to recap what happened here. <laughs> Three base trades. If I'm counting right, there could have been a fourth if it's like a pseudo base trade where they're both attacking each other at the same time, but back off. I'm not really counting those. I think it happened once or twice with that, but it's three full blown base trades in this game, this bronze TVT game, <laughs> that's got to be a record. I'm going to go with the record. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And it's going to be a very long game to watch. It's probably going to be 50 minutes. So if you last throughout that entire game, bravo, bro. Bravo.